What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, learning lots, and getting stuff done. Today, we're going to talk about quite the interesting video game, and that is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. It's a game that probably none of you have ever heard of, but it came out in 1989 and then 1990 and 1991 on all the consoles that were available at the time, including an arcade game. During this video, I'm going to have some gameplay going so that you can see what I'm talking about. It'll be right here. And the game is quite interesting. It is not what you'd expect from a Michael Jackson game. You don't actually do much dancing. It's actually a beat-em-up style game, is the official term, coined by Sega. And there are a few different types of gameplay. The first type we're going to go over is the arcade game. This arcade game allowed up to three people to be Michael Jackson and they ran around and actually fought gangsters trying to rescue kids. It was modeled after an old Michael Jackson film called Moonwalker, where he had to go rescue a kid named Katie from the evil Mr. Big. So he runs around and shoots gangsters with a magical attack that you can charge up and fire at all of them, and then you can even turn into a robot and kill more gangsters. Another variation of this game was on an at-home Sega console called the Mega Drive or the Genesis. And this one was a lot less shooty, but you still did beat up gangsters while looking for the kids that you were going to rescue. You would run around and do a high kick or this kind of sparkle move, and it would hit the bad guys and take them out. And then you would find the kids hiding in random cupboards or a dumpster or a door or wherever they had in the game, there was a bunch of levels, and the goal was to rescue all the kids. There are different levels, easy, medium, and hard, and the hard version actually looks pretty hard. It'll be playing on the screen right here, and it, I'm sure it has been at this point. In these games, they used real Michael Jackson music that had then been kind of synthesized to fit the old school style of gameplay, and they used real voices from the movie. They even had a computer game version that was much more simple. It had a maze level and then a slightly similar beat-em-up style level and stuff like that. But it was not nearly as popular as the other two versions. And that's it. If you ever wondered about a Michael Jackson video game, which I'm sure you did not, now you know all about him. If you enjoyed this video at all, please moonwalk down to that like button and press it with your foot. We'll see if you can without breaking your computer. If you'd like to see even more videos just like this one, except for even better probably, click the link right there. I'll have a whole playlist of them just for you so that you can binge watch them like a Netflix show. That's all for me today, and I will see you tomorrow.